Hi friends, MD Vegan. Cooking begins with ingredients. Yeah, you need something nice. Yeah, and when I have an ingredient, it smiles at me in the health food shop or wherever I get them. Yeah, supermarket, field, <laughs> a garden. Yeah, it smiles at me. I take it home and then I do something in the kitchen with it that is more than its parts. So what else? would be the reason to cooking if I can eat it by itself, as is. There is no point in cooking. There has to be something added to it, some an additional quality. So we put ingredients together, or we process an ingredient to make something nice of it, that is even better than itself. Yeah. Maybe not better, but more to add something. It can be better or not? That's a question I don't know. Uh, Better, what is better, you know? <laughs> Depends on what you want, maybe, or pff, difficult uh, question, the most difficult questions. But you add something, there is no debate. You add something that makes it more than its parts. Yeah? That is not debatable. If that hasn't happened, I don't cook it. I eat it as, it's, as, as is. And today I have these beautiful berries, I have blueberries and, and, and strawberries, and um, really, these are Ah, uh, among my favorite food. Fruit. Uh, fruit is my favorite food, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> it is the third healthiest food we have, uh, as to the health science. Health science looks at the whole population and it says, uh, what are the most diseases? And then they say, what can we do uh, most efficiently to help the most diseases? And that's the healthiest food. <laughs> so, um, not healthy for me or for you or for another one, but for everyone. So, but health is an individual property. I am healthy. You are healthy. Maybe the ocean is healthy. Okay. But the whole people, well, that's what health, health science says. That what is healthy for all? I make it very simple here, but uh, that's what I mean when I say healthy. Uh, uh, traditional health science has a different approach. Ayurveda, for example, or Chinese medicine, have different approach. They, they ask every single person they, the very different approach. And it's for chronic diseases. That's a different health concept. Let, that, that, don't, let, let, let's not confuse that. We're talking about uh, Western health science, modern health, experimental health science. Uh, that is a whole different story. Uh, but that is what I talk about. It's not so important, just to give a little bit of clearance. And blueberries and strawberries are berries. Uh, you can argue with strawberries, doesn't matter. Right? Grows a model, there are berries, and berries are the healthiest fruit. Blueberries, especially the healthiest of berries. So, you have a very healthy food here. Recommended daily. Blueberries, they have uh, transcend the, the, the brain barrier, the blood barrier to the brain. All the nutrients go um, through the barrier. Uh, the body has a barrier that prevents uh, toxins uh, to go to the highest center where most energy is used in the brain. And to make sure only the best energy goes up, nothing harmful. There's a barrier here, so the body is very intelligent. And the blueberry, the blue color, that blue color, yeah, that goes right through this barrier. That's why these berries are so, so healthy. And they go right through blackberries too, super healthy, every day. It makes your brain work better, actually, there's a proof. It's amazing. So, I love blueberries, they are so tasty, <laughs> for a good reason, right? <laughs> they are very nice. So I combine them with uh, strawberries, a whole different story, but let's not over exaggerate. I want to make something nice with blue and blackberry uh, and, and, and strawberries. Yeah, I cut uh, the strawberries to small pieces. You see, they are a uh, similar size now than the blueberry, as the blueberries, yeah, pretty similar. That's nice for a fruit salad to put them together. And I cover them all, I coat it with a cashew cream. Vanilla cashew cream. Also, very simple thing. I blend cashews and bananas. <coughs> oh, excuse me, please. <clears throat> Something slipped into my nose and made me tickle. The zebra in the zoo is suffering from flu. It sneezes and then blows the tickling from its nose. That's where I learned in my English class, one of the first poems. We had to learn poems 
in English class in Germany to learn English. That one of the first uh, that was decades ago. I still know it. <laughs> the zebra is will never forget. Yeah, that's <laughs> so much so much fun. So here I have a blueberry, a blue, uh, the, so cre cashew cream with here a uh, half cup of cashews and two uh, bananas or three bananas. Yeah. I blend them and it makes a wonderful cashew cream. Very delicious. Um, very nice, yeah. cashews and bananas, perfect. I add lemon, even better, because then you have uh, also from the banana, you add a very nice quality of the banana. Bananas have a complex flavor. You don't taste that usually. This is just sweet and soft and delicious. But there is a, so much flavors in the banana. There's also bitter flavors, there are vanilla-like flavors. So many different flavors in bananas, very complex. Yeah. And, um, the, the lemon helps to get it out a little bit more, like to, to unfold this flavor. Yeah? Another example of how bringing two ingredients together gives you more than each single one of them. Yeah? Not better, but more. <laughs> it's a difference. Yeah? And to make it even nicer, I add dates, more sweetness to balance the lemon. Yeah? Sweet and sour together is a very nice tool um, to bring more flavors out of other ingredients. So dates here are basically to bring out more flavor of the banana together with the lemon. That's my dates here, four dates in this case. You can do it more or less. And here the queen of spices, one of the queens, vanilla. Vanilla is um, very expensive for many reasons. Uh, they have to work on it a long time to get it. And right now, it has become very expensive due to problems in the production uh, in South Africa somewhere, uh, in the Madagascar they have a lot now, they have in other places. The, the, the vanilla crisis, the so-called vanilla crisis, uh, is, got, is easing down. The vanilla prices are going down slowly after years and years of, of triple and triple prices. Any expenses are very expensive anyway. But in the last years, prices begin to come down slowly a little bit because they have no other production for production for these facilities, places where they, where they do it. And a lot of problems with the production, also with stealing and so, and there were a lot of like, documentaries about it. Um, but now the vanilla is a little bit more available again, still very expensive, but it is, it is a very complex flavor. It's, it's fermented um, part of the orchid, of an orchid petal. It's a part of that, a pot and it has to be fermented for, for a long time, for a month, um, and then um, dried and uh, ground, and then you have these immense uh, uh, complex uh, flavors that open the senses. So nice because the fragrance is nice and it opens the senses up, you feel more. Yeah, you taste more, you feel more, you smell more, you feel more when you eat vanilla. And it's really amazing, yeah. And it's perfect together with with um, with banana, of course, because banana is, has a, a similarity, a familiarity to to vanilla. I think I feel some of it. And also with strawberries, strawberries in vanilla cream is a classic. So so nice cream here, vanilla cashew cream. I add some water to get it blended. I begin with half a cup. Maybe you have to add more. Let's see. Blender dance. The first blending only, the second blending will do the rest. But now after the first blending, I have a chance to taste it, to see if I need more of anything or less. Less wouldn't be the fortunate. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice. Texture is good. Flavor is very good. It works. Lemon and date. Enhances the, the banana flavor. The cashews make it nice and creamy, like a cream. 
And then, of course, I said it before, ah, like an opening. Okay, so uh, we'll sit for a moment to soak now, and then a second blending comes to give the um, to finalize it, to make it nice and creamy and give it the best flavor. So and now I put my main ingredients together. That's um, the strawberries and the blueberries. Yeah. Going to a bowl. And um, it is so easy, you know. They have these beautiful ingredients. And you don't need to do that much. You could eat each berry on its own. Uh, they are just heavenly. Yeah. But I will now make it together with a nice cream. Yeah. You look at this beautiful. Isn't that beautiful by itself? Yeah. That would be a, a, a poem by itself, right? A poem in, in, in colors, right? So what I do now is just putting cream on it, basically, and enjoy. That's how easy it is. All the stories about it uh, help a little bit to explain how I feel about it, how I compose these dishes, yeah, to give you a little bit of inspiration to do it yourself. Not that difficult, but um, there's a lot of going on here <laughs> when I do that. More, one more blender dance. It wouldn't be so bad um, to have it warm a little bit. There's no problem. This is this wonderful fruit. They allow for a lot. You can make a lot, do a lot of things with these delicious fruits. Now the texture, uh, the cashews have to soak a little bit. The dates too. Second blending makes it creamier. It's a little bit thicker now, and that's what I like. So it's uh, I guess the texture is really nice. Let's taste it again. If now. Um, the goal is achieved to make it one flavor, one flavor to add to these two to make it magic. Mm. There it is. Ah, oh. amazing. <laughs> you don't need that much vanilla. It works uh, really nice. You see, this is the cream, vanilla cashew cream. Wow. And the colors now are no visible anymore. Maybe I put um, some of the berries, maybe a blueberry and a red berry, uh, strawberry, just on top of the bowl. I will fill it all into a glass. And maybe I put, um, I don't know, yeah, I could just put one berry of each or two blueberries and one uh, strawberry on top of my glass here. Here's what I, I serve it to myself and I show you, to show it to you. Put it into a glass. I can still still see the colors, now the red and the blue. This is a beauty. Doctors say eat your rainbow for a reason. Yeah. Colors are very very important nutrients. They are super healthy, and we should eat all of them. So let's see. Yeah, very nice. yeah. It would be nice maybe to have some blueberries on top, and some uh, and, uh, and a nice a nice a nice strawberry just for decoration. Yeah. Would be nice and it's easy to do and that's what i have here isn't that look that doesn't that look funny here these little dots here everywhere and this is the white cream here the, the beige cream the vanilla cream here mm. it's so easy yeah but but this is a really a, a, a gift a gift for everyone you can if you have some guests or so this will never fail them yeah who wants doesn't want to have blueberries and strawberries in the cashew cream right <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And um, maybe you like my video. Like, subscribe, and be on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.